I will, this is Illish, and I'm reviewing a game against the stage 7500 in the spicy tool. So I go first, and the two best trade cards on the board are the three green to three brown and the three red to three green. So I just proceed to take the first one for free. He makes two yellows, which basically says that he doesn't like this board, and I agree. So I send it back to him. And now he takes the three red to three green, which makes sense because it's the next best card on the board. And next I'm going to take the one brown to two red to yellow for three reasons. One is that it will provide me with a continuation from brown. It would have provided him with some red input uh, for his red to green card. And the third one is that this involves putting one more yellow on the three red to two green to yellow card. Uh, which is basically useless for him because he already has a better red input card. So either he takes the first trade card, but then the trade card itself is useless to him, he just gets the two yellows, or he takes something else, but that means giving up even more yellows. So he takes the first card and takes back two yellows, and the next round of cards coming in include two produce cards, the green yellow and the four yellow produce card, and the four yellow to two green, and I take the four yellow to two green because I'm still guaranteed to get one of the produce cards, so either I, uh, either he takes the first one, the green yellow produce card, but then I will have the four yellow produce card and I will have excellent yellow production, or, or he will take the four yellow produce card, but then I will get a lot of yellows right now, and either way I'm happy. Also this provides a connection with the uh, three green to three brown. So he takes the four yellow produce card, and now I get a lot of yellows. And the next uh, cards coming in include the one green to two red, which would be the best for him, because that would form a doubling combo with the three red to three green he already has. Uh, but if he goes that way, then he will also need something to start up his combo, like the two yellow to one green. And altogether, this line means that he will be at a severe tempo disadvantage. Uh, another thing to consider is that it would also give me the red yellow to one brown, which would also form a doubling combo with the one brown to two red two yellow, not as strong as the red green because it requires more cube space, but still it's something to consider. And instead he takes the red yellow to one brown, so he denies me my uh, potential doubling combo, but now I can take away the one green to two red uh, from him. And this is completely crippling his hand. He cannot uh, mass produce reds for his two red input cards. Uh, he can mass produce yellows, but he cannot go anywhere from there. And he has the red yellow to one brown card, but no uh, continuation from brown. And he will be able to fix some of his problems, like take the yellow to green eventually, and that will provide him with uh, a continuation from mass producing yellows, but still he cannot go anywhere from green and altogether uh, his hand is, is, is very poor at this point. And to be fair, my, my hand isn't great either, so I can go up from yellows to greens and then from greens to browns and from browns to red yellow, but uh, I have no continuation from red. and. This is not a huge issue because there are still two red input cards on the board. Either of them would work fine. I would prefer the one red to three yellow because that would give me a longer loop. And the other issue is that altogether this is just not very efficient. From uh, yellows I can produce uh, four greens at best. So that means that I will have a hard time playing the three green to three brown more than just once. And actually, there might be a way to improve my hand uh, because there is a better yellow to green card still on the board. So if I manage to take that eventually, uh, that would improve my hand considerably with the chance to uh, produce six greens in a single move and then uh, go from there to six browns or, or whatever else uh, is necessary. Also, the five yellow to three green inherently works well with the one red to three yellow because the one red to three yellow is one of the clean yellow producers. So uh, it is uh, reasonable to expect that I will be able to go to 10 yellows easily with this card. Okay, so 
he makes four yellows. He basically offers me to take uh, the Bong Green produce card with two yellows. And it is an option, but it's not really necessary. Uh, it won't help him much either way. So I'm not helping him to dig. Instead, he will still need to take the f uh, two yellow to one green and probably uh, the green produce card as well. So I'm going to start up and wait until the red input cards come closer. In the meantime, uh, I can put together the cost for uh, the first card at the three coin slot. So I do that. And now I have the cost assembled. Meanwhile, he must produce yellows and went from yellow to green. So now he assembled the cost for uh, the next point card in, in the queue. And actually I can block him for a few turns, uh, make my move for the one red to three yellow, which I take now. And Next, I'm going to upgrade two reds to two greens. So basically the point is that after taking the 12 point card, I have no way of stopping him from getting the 15 point card. Uh, so I will be targeting the eight, but I want to have enough reds left even after that to be able to use the one red to three yellow card. And after buying the 12 point card, now I will have three greens left, which now I will put in uh, the one green to two red card I took for denial. And that would give me enough reds to take the eight and even have some uh, left over. And at this point, he has four yellows and it would make sense to take the 12 point card now, but I'm looking to take the five yellow to three green. But if I take it right now, then uh, I will have just three reds left after buying the eight point card. Uh, so I will be one yellow short of using this twice. So instead, I'm looking to block the 12 point card for one more turn, basically uh, to force him to make another move. I'm hoping that he will take the three red to two brown. If he wants to keep up uh, the cost for the 15 point, then uh, he doesn't have a lot of efficient moves. And meanwhile, I can pick up. And even though after buying the 12 point card, I could be using these two cards uh, before picking up. I think they will not be a bottleneck in the long run and I would have to pick up after using those anyway. So this is not a big price to pay for blocking him for one more turn. So I just pick up and he takes the brown produce card, which is a reasonable choice because uh, he has no real combo. So uh, the produce card uh, will give him some uh, decent moves. But now this is just as good for me because now I have uh, a yellow cube on the five yellow to three green. So I can take it now. And I don't mind uh, giving up three yellows on the first trade card at this point, uh, which he takes. And now I'm not blocking him anymore. So I just take the 12 point card and he takes the 15. But now I can rapidly reset first to take the eight point card. And after that to 10 yellows, well, he takes one more produce card, which again makes sense because uh, produce cards will provide him with some uh, reasonably good moves. So they do improve his hand, but they put him back uh, on tempo. So even though at this point, his tempo disadvantage is not great. Uh, now I can take the eight and now I'm in a position to take the 12 point card before him. And that means that I'm getting three of the three coins, which does put him at a six point disadvantage. And after that, uh, I have three greens left. So either uh, I go up to browns or I pick up and go down to red, but I like uh, the green to brown option. So I do that and after going down, uh, I have a lot of yellows and the only way from yellows is to go up to greens and I still have the weaker uh, yellow to green card available, but I prefer to use uh, the stronger one. I will have to pick up anyway soon. 
so I do it now and now I'm going up to greens and I'm planning to take the 16 point card next so I add a yellow and a green and after taking it uh, once again I have a choice to make I can go up to browns from the three greens left or down to reds and actually uh, I'm already at four cards so this is the end game and by going up to browns I should be able to put together the cost for two of the cards left on the board easily uh, I'm targeting the 10 point uh, yellow brown and the 8 point yellow red and with one more move I can put together the cost for those and I'm ahead on tempo so uh, I don't even have to worry about closing him out so he will be able to uh, get the 19 point card uh, I can just finish efficiently and that will be uh, sufficient to win the game okay so that's it and the two main points were uh, denying him the last card the one green to two red which left him with a uh, very poor hand and the other one was uh, when blocking the three coin I managed to black it long enough with meaningful steps so that uh, I ended up getting a chance to improve my hand a lot and that helped me to get to the third coin third three coin faster later on and that was enough to 